There were a lot of characters down here. As curator, Ann Brownfield leads tours through the Kansas City Garment District Museum. After World War I, the men didn't go back to the farms. A labor force flocked to the city. At its peak, there were 75 garment factories in the KC district, employing 4,000 people. The factories represented the second largest industry. The stockyards were number one. They looked to Kansas City for a well-made product, good fabric. And a bargain buy. We put things together in an assembly line. We could make them faster and better and cheaper than anyone else in the country. A former stylist and designer, Brownfield says her work was never nine to five. She was always looking for and creating new clothes. Designers churned out 250 new styles every six months that sales teams took to the road. Brownfield even designed the first ever pantsuit for women in Kansas City. Mostly because the Chiefs came to town and everybody wanted to be warm when they sat out at the stadium. Over time, consumer needs and styles changed. Jeans took over. If I never see another pair of jeans, it's okay with me. The factories in the garment district, with anywhere from three to 200 sewing machines, couldn't keep up with demand. It wasn't the overseas business that really took our business away from us. It was the fact that the big stores were coming in, like Walmart and the big Dillard store. Those big chains wanted 10,000 of any one style, too many for factory workers to sew. By 1988, all of the factories were gone. The museum was designed to keep those memories from fading. We're just trying to keep it alive as to what was really here. Uh, at the very beginning. The collection has pictures from the early 1920s, and the museum only displays garments that were made in Kansas City. We just went all over town trying to find uh, pictures, and we finally got enough things to put together. Some of Ann's designs hang there today, and some might still be hanging in closets around the country. Another reason we're proud to call it home. People still might be wearing a Hal Harden Petite or a Lady Harden or a Hal Harden Missy. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.